It is always exciting seeing new life come into being. And for us here on the farm, it has been super exciting to see these puppies grow and develop. However, it's been quite the adjustment here getting back into a normal routine here on the farm with the puppies and with being gone for about a month away from our farm. There is so much that needs to be done here on the farm. Our farm is out of shape and we're going to get it back in shape. The past couple days we've been working hard to do just that. There are a lot of areas that have been overgrown so I've been working hard weed eating and doing some more weed eating. From all the weed eating and mowing, I feel like I'm going crazy, going in circles. The unwanted plants and grass that we harvest from the mowing and weed eating, we actually take and give them to our animals. And Josiah here is doing a great job taking this grass that we harvested and giving it to the ducks. Outside of just the general maintenance of the area, there's also a number of things that need to be harvested. So we harvested gourds, and then we had a few days of rain. But despite the rain, I had to get out there and harvest some radishes. So I harvested and washed radishes in the rain. But thankfully it's been drier. And now that it's been drier, it's time to get outside because I have more things to harvest. As I was harvesting the lettuce, Salem was weeding the kale and scallion bed. and Josiah was pulling out the old lettuce crop. Then I began to help him out. And as I talked about in the video that we did about avoiding back pain, I made sure to squat using my legs and not bend over with my back. Sailor here said I should do a video about leg pain. Well, there's a difference between the burn that you get from working and using those muscles versus actually having pain in your legs or your back. So, you don't want to avoid the burn pain that comes from working those muscles. You want to avoid injuring those muscles and the pain associated with an injury. So, feel the burn. <laughs> So what we're going to do next is we're going to add the arugula to our salad. And one of the things that I learned while being at the Baker Creek Farm is I learned that you can put marigolds in your salad too. Yes, marigolds are edible. I did a video with one of the staff at Baker Creek, so make sure you check out that video. And they talked about edible flowers. They didn't mention the marigolds, but marigolds is actually one that you can eat as well. So we're going to harvest that, add them to our salad mix. We've actually never done this before. We've harvested the flowers for flowers for decoration, but we haven't done these flowers yet for salad. So here's how I think we're going to do it. Basically going to grab the head of the flower and then we're going to sprinkle some of the... This one she can petals. 
we'll sprinkle some of the petals into our telemint. That way it will just spread out the colors. Nope, oh, sorry. We're just about done with harvesting our lettuce and our salad mix, and the sun is beginning to come out and it's beginning to get warmer. And when you're harvesting greens, you want to keep in mind that you want to try to get it knocked out early because if it starts getting too hot, too humid, those the lettuce, the greens will lose that crispness, that firmness, and they'll begin to soften up, and you don't want that. So we're just about done, and check out this color. What do you guys think about those colors? I think it looks cool, and I love the taste of it. Mm-mm. <laughs> All right, so what we do next is we're gonna take these baskets up to our wash and pack station. We're gonna wash them, dry them, and then package them. There's still a lot that still needs to be harvested. However, we're not gonna get it all in one day. We're gonna, we still need to harvest radishes, peppers, eggplants, and a couple other crops, but like I said, it's not gonna get done today. And it's actually forecasted to rain, so we'll see what happens where we're gonna at least make sure we knock out our salad greens here and take advantage of that. Oh, and we also have so many eggs that were collected while we were gone on our trip to Missouri, so those need to be cleaned and washed up and put in egg cartons. So we got our work cut out for us. Right now, things are still a mess around here from things just having to be put away from when we had the hurricane a few weeks ago. However, the job still has to be done and we're just gonna have to slowly get things in order. We're also still developing our wash and pack station. So right now we're just improvising and doing what we need to do to continue to provide for our customers until we get our areas just refined. But keep in mind, you just need to do what you need to do to keep progress going. Don't get overwhelmed. Don't wait till everything's perfect to get going. Just do something and just get started. Right now for washing our salad greens, we're actually going to use our cooler. We just washed it out and Josiah's going to fill it up with water. We'll take our salad spinners, fill them up with our salad greens and then dunk them in the water and then we're going to spin them out. And then after that, we'll let them dry out in our fan that's back here. But first, Josiah's gonna fill this up with water so that way we have water to dunk them in. And eventually I wanna have a, a stock tank with a bubbler in it, but we're not there yet. We're still in progress. So be patient with us. And I'm trying to be patient too because I wanna get things knocked out and done right away. But I just have to breathe and deal with it. Process, one of the things that I'm noticing is the marigold petals are spreading out and they're kind of getting all over the place. So what I'm going to do differently next time is actually keep the petals on the flower and we're going to wash them on the flower, dry them, and then spread them out, spread out the petals into the salad mix. So that's what we learned. Also, as you can see right here, we have our fans. I like to use a high velocity fan. Some market gardeners will use just normal box fans. However, I think that they take way too long to dry them. I really like the, I really like the high velocity fans that I'm using right here. Well, it's lunchtime and we have just wrapped up with the lettuce. Next, for lunch, we are going to go ahead and wash the eggs. But that's it for this vlog. We still have a lot of work to do, so we'll just have to catch up with you next time.
feel free to leave a comment below, even if it's just to say, hey. Also, make sure you don't miss any of our new videos. So, subscribe and sign up to receive notifications each time we release a new video. Also, you may want to check out these videos right here. And also check us out on Instagram, Facebook, and Twitter. See you next time.